Gemini, welcome. We are going to read on your first two weeks of November. So let us see what we have coming up for you. I do not read reversals, as you may or may not know. I keep all of my cards upright. That's just my style. That's the way I like it. And so Gemini, I did Aries, Aries and Taurus, and Gemini probably and usually has Taurus in it. So you may want to listen to the Taurus forecast and what they are planting. And then also Cancer, because typically we have those within us. Now my Venus is in Gemini and my Mercury cusps right on Gemini and Taurus. And so let us see, what is the forecast for the two weeks in the beginning of the month of November for Gemini? All right, here we go. I use a Celtic spread, as you probably know, and I have and I have expanded it. I've been expanding on this for about 30 years, and I love it because it gives me a lot of information. Okay, so let me pull these down so that you can see. And you guys have really great cards here. This is good, Gemini. All right, that's your strength cards. And that, geez. These are great cards. Okay, so here's what we have. Great cards. All right, so you have three aces in a row. This is huge for Gemini. New beginnings, right off the bat. This, is, this could be seeds of emotional happiness, spiritual happiness, new ideas coming to you. Literally, this is divine. So you are entering a phase, Gemini. Wow, this is a powerful reading where you have the opportunity to create financial wealth, relationship wealth, mental wealth, which would be mental health, physical health. Look at the strength with the sun card that you have and the four of wands, which is the, these cards of harmony and harvest and celebration. And, and it's like a marriage or a relationship. But let me tell you, if you are not going to claim your power, you're going to waste the power that the universe is bringing in for you right now, emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually. You see, what does the emperor do? The emperor, and here it is, okay? So the emperor, it's like, wow, I've got, I'm feeling really good. I've got my thoughts really positive. I'm in a really great place. And then we've got the emperor crossing you. What does that tell me? Okay, this is my reading, how I read it for you. It says that you have to take control. You have to own your power. You've got the power within you and either you're not utilizing it or you haven't utilized it. The emperor is wearing, okay, he's holding by the way, and this could be the sun. It could be the earth. Okay. But I will say this, the, the Aries, the Ram is the emperor. And Aries the Ram knows how to break through habits and patterns. This man has fought wars. This has, he has, and he is the emperor because not only the crown he wears, but because of what he's been through. You have got to be able to sit back and say, I'm going to use my thoughts and my feelings. And I am going to, and this is about speaking into existence, and it's about saying what you want. It's delegating. The emperor tells people what to do. The emperor says, this is the way it's going to be. The emperor doesn't say, would you please bring me dinner? And expect that the person might say, well, I don't have time to bring you dinner now. The emperor says, would you please bring me dinner? And these people, that's polite. And then people bring the emperor dinner. You are in a process, and this is beautiful because it's like, I just did Aries and Taurus. And I feel like, you know, Gemini is just in this place where it's like, you have to claim what you want. But here's the key. You've got to act as if. You have to get into the feeling okay, of what it is that you want. And I promise you, it's going to bring you everything that you want. You have the two of swords beneath you. We can look at that as blind faith. The woman is sitting blindfolded with two swords. The swords are thought. 
the water is behind her. It looks like it's pretty calm, okay? But how are you using the reflection of your mind to create in this physical world? You've got abundance and huge money and wealth coming to you. And you've got harmony and happiness in your relationships. But what are you looking at? What are you choosing? Are you saying, that's not me? I'm not going to enter my own kingdom and be the emperor? Now, the king of pentacles and the hierophant are like, come on. You're more... You have more going for you during these first two weeks of November than Taurus and, and Aries. So come on, Gemini. What's going on? Do you have a foreboding of what's happening? Are you saying, I can't see the path? When will you trust that you may not see the path, but you have to know you're creating the path? This is one of the most powerful readings that I have seen. When I do spreads like this, your self-defeating behavior and all your discontent, that's gone. That's behind you. You're moving forward. But here you are. Okay, and you have a black lion and a white lion, right? Think about that. That's opposites. This is the charioteer. You're the charioteer, okay? Spiritually, you know that your spirit will fly across this earth fly across the eons, fly across the fabric of the universe, and it can manifest and create what you want here. If you'll believe it, if you'll act like it, if you'll own it. But here you are, you're like, oh, well, I don't know. You know, sorry, just like my camera moves. You know, is this really what's going to happen? Is this really? Choose for God's sake. You have to choose. Make a choice. Because I tell you, when you do and make it big, you will own it. It says that you will have the spiritual support that you need come to you. And you have to know within yourself that those things that you want on the earthly plane, they will come to you, but you must balance them. And that's what's really important here. The King of Pentacles is the guy that is like the, it's like Elon Musk or, or I don't care who it is, you know, anybody that has a lot of money. And it's also falls next to the king. The keys to the kingdom are held with the hierophant. And the hierophant is the high priest. And the high priest knows that nothing in this world is created of this world. It's created in the spirit, in the heart, in the believing, in the fire of your creative soul and spirit. And there are going to be times that things go bump in the night and you're scared and you don't know, but you can always come back to the basics and trust. It's all within you. You keep your ego in check because that's important in this reading. Okay. And then you have the world card is the outcome. That is the ultimate yes to all your at plans. If you take action. You have got to be strong in this. And it says strength will be given to you. You can read the strength card, which is, you know, I mean, there's so much symbolism in the cards. If you look at the figure eight above her, her head, it's the sign of infinity. And she has these two little, you know, blips of, from her um, headdress that are coming out, growing toward the infinity. And she knows that she can have anything that she wants, including the strength to tame this lion. And the lion is within us. How we use our creative, powerful energy, this creative force of this earth, she's magnificent. So is the lion. But a tamed lion can be just as magnificent if you channel your energy towards what you want. And I'm telling you, I just don't see where Gemini is really struggling these first two weeks. Um, we're going to keep going a little bit deeper. The infinity sign here goes with the infinity sign here, which is the two of pentacles. This is the strength. We have a two and a two here, and we have a two here. We've got to get out of the duplicitousness, okay? And you've got to choose. And you've got to realize that when you choose, things will coagulate. So you can't choose, well, maybe, because that's not a choice. That's kind of not choosing. And remember, what do we have here? The black and the white lion driving you forward, okay? The seventh card. That's spiritual. When you choose, spiritual forces will come and they will help you achieve what it is that you want and need. Okay, so you must choose. 
All right, now what we're going to look, and I love these cards. These are my my little favorite baby cards that I layer, and they give me a lot of information. And add to what we're looking for. So this is for Gemini for the first two weeks in November, and I am going to... Okay, so what we have here is it, you need to get into a state of celebration get ready to celebrate because what you're creating these first two weeks the strength card is the card of leo and leo is june july right is that right no i'm sorry it's july august okay look what happens celebration is coming to you so everything that you're planning these first two weeks these are really important weeks these first two, to really plant the seeds of what you want by thinking, feeling, knowing, seeing it into existence, knowing from, I mean, literally from the sun, from the soul within yourself, okay, that everything is a yes, if you'll just choose. And you can't choose the self-defeating. You're not going to anyway, because that's behind you. But I'm telling you, celebration, fun, something exciting. And it says, this is something that you can celebrate with people that are closest to you, with your family, right? With your friends. But also the tree is very important because this is a great tree. And this tree means that you're building something for yourself. And so it says you're, you're really paying attention to the advice that you're getting from someone who is wise. And you're going to get more information in the month of December, it says. So listen to that. The information that this person is giving you is be careful of working against your own self by the thoughts that you hold. And also be careful that somebody might be working against you behind your back during the month of December. So pay attention to the advice somebody gives you. So if they're saying to you, you know, that person may not have your best interest or, you know, I've I have had this experience or or you're doing that to yourself. You need to be careful. We're going to keep going. What will happen is it says you need to plan ahead. So as it, these first two weeks, it's like you may as well plant the seed that in December, right, if somebody's giving you advice, you will heed the advice ahead of time so you don't have to have this experience. You know that you have to plan ahead. You know that you have to be self-reliant. It's saying don't rely on other people because they could un undermine you because they might be jealous, okay? And again, you have, again, you have a very interesting reading, very similar to Aries and Taurus. Well, you are very close to Aries and Taurus. So, okay. So what it's saying is plan and be careful about, uh, this would be more like arrogance because again, people will misunderstand you. A lot of money will be coming to you. And although you'll have the wealth, you're going to feel like people are against you. And that's going to make you feel like, God, you know, I've got all of this money. Now think about this. This is a belief. I've got all this money and all this wealth that has come to me and I'm successful. And why do these people do it? Well, maybe you need to be careful of how you're acting around people or what you're saying. Again, remember, wealth is not the guy that, you know, I mean, wealth, of course, can buy very beautiful things, but beautiful things doesn't mean wealth. It's got to be balanced with love, with generosity, with spirituality. It's got to be, you know, gratitude, giving back to people, generous of spirit, generous in your words, generous in your thoughts towards people. And it will it will keep your life in balance. You know, in Egyptian, and, and there's a story, um, I believe it's in the Bible, God weighs your heart against a feather. Okay, so when your heart is light and it's not mired down with the thoughts of, oh my God, I won't be able to keep this. And this is what you've got to look at these first couple of weeks in November. Okay. Oh, this is going to, yeah, you have the birth of something new coming. It doesn't necessarily mean a child. Um, but it could. So this, okay, so Gemini, you're going to be doing really, really well. Be careful of greed. You're going to be stepping into a new experience, but it says you don't want to be aggressive or stubborn. You need to loosen that up. You know, you'll be dealing with a younger man that will be a gift to you. And it, and and if you are wanting to get pregnant, it looks like, again, we've got some male energy coming in. But this is also a business opportunity. 
And it's like being a ram and being able to ram through things and create something new is fabulous. But it says step into the new experience. Okay, but it says don't do it in a way that's greedy or you will run into someone who will mirror back to you. Okay, and you'll say, oh, my God, you know what? I shouldn't cross that person. But that everything is a mirror of us. And in June, there is major success between all the way between June to October of 2022 by taking heed of this. These are things that you can avoid based on what you're thinking, doing inner work, being self-aware, checking on yourself. Who am I? What is it that I'm manifesting and creating? Why do I struggle with people? Well, typically, we struggle with people because we struggle with something within ourselves. It's always that way. The world mirrors back to us who and what we think about within our old beliefs that we very often cannot see. And so I say to you, you, can, you don't have to go through this if you just recognize, okay, you know what? I'm being boastful. I'm being greedy. And when you hear yourself saying, ah, and you're freaking out, well, what about this person? And what about that? I'm not going to give. It's like you don't have to give it. But you also have to pull back and recognize that everybody is in your life and showing you something about yourself. It's a reflection of you. So the first two cards fell out. So, ah. Uh, this is talking about being able, you've got to learn to receive. And in order to do that, you've got to look at the gift the hand is giving. So you could be the one that does all the giving and you don't know how to receive. And it also says you have to understand that some people don't know how to receive. If it says give to others, reach out, okay, because that will help you mitigate this. And, you know, is giving and receiving is the way the universe works. When you give the universe instruction as to what you want and need, are you doing it from a place of love? Are you doing it from a place you're not going to harm anybody? You're not going to take anything from anybody that isn't going to happen. And if you're thinking like that, you need to rethink and you need to think about oh, you maybe shutting down because you don't trust that you're going to receive, or maybe you're shutting down because you're afraid to give because you're afraid you won't have enough. And what these cards are saying is you're going to have more than enough. So it says you have to imagine yourself as light and energy. And that is exactly what you are, a very powerful being. And people will be attracted to your light and your brilliance. But you have to remember that light and brilliance it doesn't have greed. It doesn't have any of that. It doesn't have fear. And so this is about faith. It's about staying really grounded. It says, don't be unfocused. Don't be distracted by this stuff that other people try and bring in. That creates ungroundedness. You have to set your intention and know that the universe will meet you where you're at. Stay centered. Okay. Remember, it's the divine source within you that was planted from the beginning of time, it's your divine right. You don't have to fight and argue. You don't have to be fearful of people. You certainly don't have to be um, arrogant. None of us do. We don't have to be greedy. We have to know that the universe is more than abundant. This is for all of us. It's, you know, not just Gemini. You have to remember that you will have. Wow. And look at the harmony that's brought to you and triumph. Actually, I'm going to put this here and this one here. Okay. This is beautiful for you. So harmony shows up above you. It's, that's, what are you thinking about? How are you joining? Again, this is harmony. This is the chariot, right? It's the blending of those two forces. It's about choice. It's bringing together two things so that you can drive that chariot forward. So it's not thinking this is fear over here and this is faith over here. Instead, it's taking faith and it's saying, I know that if I focus on, on being loving and generous and kind, and I focus on what I want to create in this universe, I know that it will meet me where I'm at. It's not about I'm going to make all this money or I'm going to have this relationship 
because this is about prosperity. It's not talking so much about love. However, if you're in a relationship, this would definitely indicate there could be a birth here, or it could be that you're coming back together with someone that you knew, bringing someone new in. And it's because you have suffered loss in the past that you worry about these things. But I'm telling you, you have to have faith that, and this is behind you that you are going to be cared for and triumphant because that's the seventh card. You know that you can overcome these past losses because it's in the past. We don't need that anymore. We're supposed to heal that. And this is where we have to dig in and take time to be alone and trust and read or listen to our inner being, our inner self. Find things that are nurturing and spiritually nurturing for you in your solitude to bring you up, to remind you of who and what you are. And then look at this, the third eye chakra. Again, it's all about what you're creating. If you want a divine union with someone, then think about what you're thinking about. Think about what you listen to and who you are in your alone moments. How do you talk to yourself? Are you still talking about the emotional loss and reliving that? Or are you talking about how you overcome that? Because you know that this is in the past. This is a belief. And when we change our perceptions and how we see love and relationships and money and health and prosperity and wealth, when we change that from oh my God, I suffered loss in the past. And you know what you're made of. And you put that right smack in the center of your mind and your third eye, that pineal gland. I'm telling you, you will soar. And that is what your reading is about. And look at this. Survival, okay? Sexuality, creation, the base chakra. What are you sitting in? What are you thinking about? When you can come to a place of triumph and you raise up into that pineal gland, that's what you'll experience. I promise you, Gemini, you have a great first two weeks of November. Keep it going. Anyway, I hope you like this um, reading and I look forward to you listening to the last two weeks of November. And if you would like a personal reading, you can check the links down below to my website and sign up. Anyway, thank you, and I hope you employ every single bit of this because it looks fantastic, Gemini.